internet, it's Sunday and it's raining outside and there is no light. My current lighting situation is like a desk lamp balanced on top of a desk chair just behind the camera and it's not fallen yet. So I think that's a good sign. I just reached 100 subscribers, which has been a really long time coming because I've been doing this for like two or three years on and off. So I thought it was a good time to do a facts about me video because some of you probably don't know me at all. Some of you probably don't know that much about me. Some of you probably know way too much, but I'm gonna tell you some more anyway. My natural hair colour is brown, which some of you might know, but I thought I would just throw in here because I'm not sure if there's any videos on this channel where actually have brown hair, it's like a mousy brown. Today, I dyed my hair today, I dyed it, tried to dye it, a really dark purple on top and then like a bright purple on the ends, which it's kind of done, but not as much as I wanted it to. And I'm just really sad because I can't bleach my hair at the moment, or ever, because I don't want it to fall out like Michael Clifford and I've just gone off on a tangent, but my natural hair colour is like a mousy brown. I have a serious Nutella problem, as in I can't have Nutella in the house at all or I will just eat it. The bread, the toast, is basically just an instrument to get the Nutella to my mouth. My housemate bought me a big jar of Nutella, like the ones that you can get the names printed on. I thought that I had that for quite a while and I was really proud of myself. And then one of my other friends came around and was like, oh, have you eaten that already? And I was like, oh, already? My parents live in a caravan. They live in a caravan like in the summer months and then they live in like a little holiday villa in the colder months. They just told me one day that that's what they were doing and that I could either go with them or move somewhere else. Now they live by the seaside and it's all good because I live here. I hate jelly. I hate everything about it. I, it, it just makes me feel sick. It's the, like the, I can't, what, the texture, I guess, because it's so slimy. I thought that this was just like some unreasonable fear of jelly until I found out quite recently that I didn't like it when I was younger. My mum, when I was younger, just used to give me more jelly because she said that I made a really funny face and she just keep giving it to me to make me make a face. So I don't think it's a very unreasonable fear of jelly. I have a teddy called Pink Teddy. This is him, this is Pink Teddy. He was my first teddy. I don't know why he's a he. I've just realized that he's a he, even though he's a Pink Teddy because he was for a girl, me. Pink Teddy was obviously a really original name for this pink teddy bear, but this is Pink Teddy, my teddy, and I love him. I have to take an allergy tablet every day, every single day, otherwise I will just sit and sneeze. I went to the doctor about it, and I was like, I sneeze all the time, and what can I do? And the doctor was like, nothing, you've just got to keep taking allergy tablets every day for the rest of your life. My favorite food is Mexican, and I don't get to have it that often, because I guess there's not really that many Mexican places about, but there's a place called Chimichanga that's just opened in Leicester, and I've been twice since it opened, and I just want to go all the time. The best jeans that I have ever found are Wonderfit jeans from Asda. They're literally incredible. It doesn't feel like you're wearing jeans. It feels like you're wearing leggings, but they look like jeans and they make your legs look really good. Every time I go to Asda, I'm scared that they're gonna stop doing Wonderfit jeans. So sometimes when I order them, I'm like, maybe I should order like 10 right now, just in case they stop doing them. I am still absolutely in love with emo Pete Wentz. When I went to see Fall Out Boy in January, he was like, he told some story about like a scorpion and a turtle or something and I can't remember what it was. But he just does these little, these little speeches in between songs and he sounds ridiculous and he's an idiot. He's old and he looks awful with his blonde hair and he had a baby with Ashley Simpson and I just really love Pete Wentz. Have you ever been gesturing so wildly while you film a video that you delete the entire note with all of your notes on it for the video? I have. Anyway, I think I got to number nine don't know, I'll just go from number 10. I know absolutely nothing about makeup, and in fact hair, this is it, this is the, the best that it will get. I do the same thing every single day. I've tried to learn on YouTube, but I'm just not very good at it, so I just, just do this, just stick to what works. I'm always cold. This is a really crap fact, but I couldn't remember what one of them was after I deleted them all, so this is what you're getting. We can have the heating on and I'll still be cold and I just can't warm up. My parents used to have a go at me because they'd have the heating on and I'd come down like in a hoodie and bring my duvet with me and they'd be like, how are you cold right now? I'd just be like, I don't know, I just am. I was never allowed a pet when I was younger because my mum was allergic to fur. All of a sudden now that I'm 23, my mum isn't allergic to fur anymore, and my parents have bought a kitten. I don't think that she was ever allergic to fur. I think that this was just a ploy for, for me not to have a pet. Cheers for that, mum. <laughs> my housemate and I once started five sauce jars, like swear jars, to put money in 
whenever we mentioned five sauce or remember a five sauce. It turns out that it's not really a very realistic punishment when you talk about them every single second of the day because you'd just be putting money in constantly. I once flew out to Orlando for five days to see a band called The Rocket Summer play uh, his first two albums in full. I don't think that's that crazy or that weird. That's just like normal everyday life for me, like going to multiple shows of a tour or going really far for a show. That was one of the best things that I ever did because I learned that I could go by myself to different countries and do, or one of the worst things that I've ever done because now I know that I can do it. I just do it and spend money when I shouldn't. I am really bad at maths, like really bad. When I finished uni, I applied for some graduate schemes. I got through to the next round and won, just won. There was like an English test and a maths test. And English one, fine. I can speak English, I can write it, I can type it. That was fine, that was good. Maths, it turns out, I thought I was just bad at it in school, but my brain just won't do it in, in life in general. I just can't do it. And so if you ever need me to do maths, just go to someone else because I can't. I studied photography for a total of five years, two years at college and three years at university. And I came out the other side of it with absolutely nothing. I currently work in an office doing admin. You go into uni thinking that you're going to get a job, you're going to come out with a job, but no one really helps you with that. You just come out with a degree. Wasted five years of my life, basically. I can't ride a bike or plait hair or use a skipping rope. And I've just realized that I clearly had quite a sad childhood if I can't do any of those things. I'm sure if I got on a bike and tried to ride it, I'd be fine, but I just don't want to because it's just a bit scary. I'm plaiting hair and my fingers just won't, they just don't work like that. I can't use a skipping rope either, like I said. Um, I go to circuit training twice a week and the most I can do is like three. I actually did like five the other day when I was using the skipping rope, but by the time I got back round to that station, I was too tired and I was like, well, let's just not bother this time, I've lost it. And it's one of those things that when you tell people, they're like, what? Like, there's something wrong with you, but I just can't do those things. I have five tattoos. I have, this is my first one. I'm not even gonna really bother here because I can't hold my arm the right way. I've done this before in a video. This is my Fallout Boy tattoo, which is now upside down. It says, take this to your grave. I have an Assassin's Creed tattoo there. I have my five seconds of summer tattoo that I got on Where We Are tour. I've got a Harry Potter tattoo on the back of my neck. I've got a Rocket Summer tattoo on my ribs, but I'm too lazy to try and show you them. I wanna get more, but I don't really know what I want. Also, sometimes it's quite painful, so that puts me off a bit. The longest that I have queued for a gig is 21 hours, which was five seconds of summer at iTunes Festival. It did not rain, which was a plus, because we thought it was going to. It was actually really comfortable that night because we had barriers, we had security watching over us, we had access to the toilets all night. Thanks, Five Sauce Security. Finally, my favorite song is The Patron Saint of Liars and Fakes. I can't even say that song title and it's my favorite song. My favorite song is The Patron Saint of Liars and Fakes by Fall Out Boy, which consequently is on my favorite album, Take This To Your Grave. I just thought that was a nice, fact to end on because I didn't have a 20th one and I didn't want it to be a downer like oh I hate tomatoes because I also hate tomatoes and mushrooms. That's it, that's 20 facts about me um, and yes I can never end videos or just keep rambling and going and yes and please subscribe. This is the second video that I'm filming before the end of February which I didn't think I'd do so I'm quite proud of myself. Talk to me in the comments below and give me some random facts about yourself. No one ever really comments, so I thought I'd tell you something to comment. So comment with that. Subscribe and like. Tell me if you like this video. Or even if you hated it, just tell me. And apart from that, I will see you next time. Bye! Don't even go this way. Oh god, I can't do it! I don't oh, know where the, the face is and I need to draw a lip it. ring. Wait, are we drawing all of them? No, just one. What the fuck does this hair look like? Right, okay. I need to. I'm done. I need to start again. Okay, I'm done.